Hello, BookTube. I'm here to talk about a book uh, called Lost Illusions, or at least that's the English title. And it was originally written in three parts uh, from 1837 to, or published between 1837 and 1843 by Honor de Balzac. And it's part of his Comedy Humane series, which is a sprawling um, 90 some volume uh, or stories, novellas, short stories, and novels uh, that uh, basically chronicle French society. And this is one of his um, keystone, I guess, uh, books for it. And I, it could have been the very first one I ever read by him many, many decades ago. Uh, and I've just recently reread this with uh, Mark at uh, Book Time with Elvis and Summer at Sterling Reads. Um, I think I think Summer is still uh, reading this. Uh, she's got a lot on her plate at the moment. Uh, Mark, I believe, has finished it uh, a little while ago, or a week or so ago. Now, it's it's a story. Um, I'll sort of give a rough description of it. Uh, it's, it's about a young poet, or he, he wants to be a writer slash poet, uh, called Lucien. And uh, I, he has a couple surnames because his father was uh, a chemist, uh, and he had died, and uh, he uses sometimes his father's name or sometimes his mother's maiden name. Uh, so his mother's still alive. He has a sister and his best friend, who's actually a uh, printer. Uh, he's inherited, or well, sort of not really inherited, uh, but a printing business from his father, and they're, they're the best of friends. And but but uh, Lucien has uh, visions of grandeur. Let's put it that way. But he lives in a provincial town, and in order to fulfill everything, he needs to get to Paris. Uh, he doesn't have much money at all. Uh, he sort of falls for a a a, a married woman uh, and sort of starts an affair with her, but not physical at this point. And probably never does get physical with her. Uh, but he, she, there's a little bit of uh, mix up that her husband has to fight a duel uh, over Lucien. Uh, and then she flees to Paris and she takes Lucien with him. She's sort of his patroness and wants to, you know, uh, make him a great poet because she loves his poetry. But at the beginning, his poetry is not very good. Uh, but he gets to Paris and he's soon sort of abandoned by her because her sort of, uh, you know, um, Parisian cousins and and uh, new acquaintances uh, find him very gauche and, uh, you know, very provincial and you need to dump this guy. <laughs> so she dumps him. So he's he's let loose in Paris. He doesn't have that much money, but the money that he does have was um, scraped together by his sister, his mother, and his best friend, uh, who actually winds up marrying his sister. They indulge him, overindulge him with this, you know, to the point where they they are struggling to eat. Uh, because the uh, the printing press, the printing business is not doing well, and so he he um, he, he gets into dire straits um, with uh, in Paris through excess of living as well, because he, he spends most of the money he has on fancy clothes. Uh, but he meets he meets some other fellow writers. He gets in and and a group that very much support each other, and he and he sort of um, does things that he would never want to, and other serious writers wouldn't become a journalist. You know, just you, you say that under you know uh, whispered breath because it was it was a horrible thing, <laughs> but very lucrative. Lucrative. Uh, because he would work for one paper, write a, write, uh, like a, say a review for a new novel that came out. 
and just trash it, say how bad it was under a, a, a pseudonymous name. Then he'd write for another paper, which are different uh, political papers, and, and and say that person doesn't know what he's talking about, and create a buzz. And he gets there's kickback from from all this stuff as well, and, and the same as work and writing for theater and everything like that. And the actresses will actually pay uh, in money or in physical um physically let's just put it that way <laughs> um and and he he hooks up with a young actress a beautiful young actress um and he he starts making a name for himself um while he's still trying to he he's got a manuscript for a novel that's based on a uh a, 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 it, it's sort of a a copy of uh, Scott, uh, Sir Walter Scott's uh, historical novel, uh, but he but he jigs it around, and he's got a a book about sonnets, and he gets some help, and he, and he improves this, and they get published. But to sort of lukewarm because he's starting to burn his bridges in the journalist uh, area because he wants to leave that behind and just work for one, and he gets kind of ruined uh, by this and. Um, his girlfriend gets ru ruined, the actress, and, you know, bad things happen, and he's completely destitute, but, he, but he's but he got friends there that help him to get money to get back home because he's had enough of this. Um, there's everybody, like, he, he, he he's a bit of a screw-up. Um, he doesn't understand the real world, and, and you know, um, there's always someone that's picked up the pieces for him. And there still has. So he, he, he finally gets back home. And things are bad for uh, his sister, his mother, and his brother-in-law, his, his best friend. The, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the printing press isn't doing well. And uh, the, the, the father of, the, uh, of his best friend, the, the uh, uh, that that owns the printing press it used to have the printing press and he's just a miser he's just an old miser he, he says he has no money but he's he, he's well off but he will not help support uh his son or uh his son-in-law uh or uh, his, his daughter-in-law or even their child um and there's a rival firm as well that sort of buys him out but 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 he has this idea but anyway uh lucien try he, he sees what he's done um, by this and he feels bad so he he he, he recklessly tries to uh, you know change this but it actually makes it worse for them in this short term um, and you know he's and then he leaves he goes off uh, well it actually turns out well let's just put it that way for for uh, his sister and his, and his mother and his uh, brother-in-law eventually I, I I love it. I, like I loved it the first time I read it, and it's it's just you know there, there's funny bits in it as well. There's a lot of humor. Uh, it's just um, it like you got this reckless. You know he's he, he, every you know he's he's been indulged all his life, and he's still like even even when he's confronted with things, he still is the same. Uh, and, and it's sort of, yeah, as I say, his trials, but, but all these other characters that come and go and the description of the publishing world, uh, journalism of the time, because this was something, journalism was something new, uh, in the 1820s, a, a lot of it. And, you know, the, it, it was because of the, the political situation we're now with the, uh, Bourbons that are back, uh, the, you know, uh, the King. Uh, but it's it, it's it's constitutional mar monarchy. Um, it's it, it, it's a bit of a mess um, in France at the time. So journalism sort of was was a growing a growing thing, and you know Balzac really taps into this because it's sort. I think it's a lot like him. He Lucien is very much like him and what he probably had to go through struggling as an author until he made it. Um, 
And there's lots of little um, diversions. And uh, even Balzac says we're going to do a diversion here. Uh, and it, it's some, you know, he keeps some short, but uh, like there's there's a section on paper and in in the printing industry, which is just fascinating, um, and 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 the, the the diversions of of the journalism of how that works and the publishers, I, I find it all fascinating, and you know, not boring at all. Just you know, just, I want more of it actually, and. Uh, and also, too, like, there, there's so much minutia in here, too. It's like how much a taxi was, like, to take a, take a, 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 um, a taxi, uh, a, you know, horse and car, uh, horse and carriage somewhere. And all this kind of description of the clothing, uh, the furniture, all this kind of stuff, like, all sort of surroundings. He, he goes into a lot of detail of this. And it is a bit of a social... An historical document because the the it's it's all accurate of what he was talking about so you get a really good picture of what life in a certain sector of life was like uh in paris in the 1820s um and yeah it's it's just it's just wonderful and i am really glad i reread it again um and the the sequel which I, I can't remember if I've read it or not. The, the the Penguin classics of it is called The Harlot High and Low. But I found out after reading uh, Lost Illusions, there is a new translation of both of these. Uh, and this has been called various uh, various titles. There's about four different titles. Uh, but there's a new translation that say Lost Illusions. And their translation of, um, of Harlot High and Low is called Lost Souls. And it takes Lucian uh, after the end of this. He's well. I won't go into too much detail there, but um, it's uh, yeah, because it's part of the scenes uh, scenes of Parisian life. This is out of the uh, comedy humane, and I hope to um, get to this one uh, shortly. And I'm not sure whether. Well, probably who translated this. Uh, so it's a different um, uh, Rainer uh, Heppenstahl uh, translated this. I might wind up reading this one and then wait. I, I do. I would love to get the new translation, uh, the new translations, and I, I'm sure I'll read them again because it's 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 some of my favorite ones. And uh, since. Uh, I sort of joined Mark uh, at Book Time with Elvis in, in his sort of year of French reading. I've just jumped right back in, just, you know, fully into reading uh, French stuff as much as I can. And I want to read more. There's a lot more Balzac that I've dug out that I've had that I, that I want to get back into. And other Hugo, too. Just, you know, the, the, the list goes on. Uh, um, um, Flaubert uh, and, and you name it. But anyway, thank you, BookTube, and yeah, um, that's Lost Illusions. Take care.